Good morning. I am Morgan Wolf here in the Traffic Alert Center. We have some serious crashes that are happening in Taylorsville right now. There is one on 5400 South, just outside of Redwood Road, that has an entire side of the road blocked off still. We're inside one of the largest construction projects that we will see on Utah roads for some time. We are talking about I-80 and 215. Talk about Bangor Highway real quickly because this is where we're seeing so much construction right now. So far, we are crash-free in this area. We know that we do have some of those closures. Well, the main one is going to be over 104 south, and then if you jump up, then they do have that closure too over this way. This one is going to be 126 south. So we have seen so many slide offs right now. I have 35 active crashes across the state. We are talking from up in Brigham City down to St. George. So here's uh, the one of the most impactful ones is going to be on 215 and I-15. We have one of these exit ramps that is going to be blocked off right now. Keep an eye out for that. The Speed limits right now are looking at 38 miles per hour on our interstates. Very different than what we normally see. Eastbound lanes on that 215 side for that right hand shoulder. There was a semi there earlier. A lot of our semi is jackknifed on big roads that has caused a lot of delays that we are seeing. You look at this, all of this red on our busiest roads across Salt Lake City. UHP told me just about 20 minutes ago they really are focused on Salt Lake County, but they are seeing issues up towards Ogden here, stretching even further up to Box Elder and Cache County as well. If you're driving on I-15, look out for those construction cones still around Clearfield. Make sure that you are keeping an eye out for those. How much did Santa pay for his sleigh? How much did Santa pay for Slay? Nothing. It was on the house. <laughs> 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 They've been finding a lot of it on our roads. They've actually had to increase their hours for workers collecting all the garbage by 28%. Anyone want to take a little nap on this mattress? <laughs> Yikes. Ah, yeah, so that's some of the stuff that they find. And as we're getting all the boats ready, getting the RVs, everything to head out for the 4th of July weekend, I just want to remind everyone to make sure you secure your loads. No, man, I, now I have Rocket Man stuck in my head. Rocket Man. Yeah, Blue I mean, it just Jean follows baby. that story. See? What's the rest of it? That's L.A. Lady. Uh, yeah. You're singing you're Tiny Dancer. That's oh. not Rocket Man. You're on the right track. Now a live look in Provo at the Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We got this game that's going to be happening. Have you heard about it? I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to say if I'm rooting for anyone because really I don't have a horse in this race. I'm like the girl from Mean Girls that says she doesn't even go here. <laughs> but I do know about traffic, so why don't we talk about it? I-15 driving down. This is going to be a busy one towards the game. And then also 89 is another route you can take to get to Lavelle Edwards Stadium. So if you don't have a parking pass, let's talk about this. Non-reserve parking lots will be at Monte Bean Museum, BYU Administration Buildings. Tailgating and RV parking will be available at the IT building parking lots. If we pull up the big map, here are going to be some of the areas that you can park at. Again, if you don't have a parking pass. So look for this map. It will be on their website. I know you're a Taylor Swift fan. So is my daughter. Yeah. I'm thinking one of the first songs to be played at the, at the beginning of the new year. I don't know about you. 22, right? <laughs> I'm feeling 22. There you go. Back. Some of the main arteries, I guess you could call them, leading into Salt Lake City. They see about 100,000 drivers per day, and they're looking to improve the conditions for all of those commuters. It doesn't take long for you to stumble across construction cones on Utah roads. Right now, we have 180 projects going on across the state, so people are going to see the orange construction barrels and this one, though, is, is a really important project. John Gleason with the Department of Transportation says the state has been doing its best to keep up our infrastructure with our rapidly growing population. It's called accelerated bridge construction. We're building them alongside the existing bridges, and then when it's time to, uh, to demolish the old bridges, we do that in a weekend and slide the new ones into place. Four bridges will be replaced along I-80 and 215. They'll also be reconfiguring some of the lanes here as well and repaving. It has been decades since uh, since this was first built in the 1960s. And you know we've done a lot of patchwork over the years, but this is really going to rebuild the freeway out here, replacing the, the pavement with brand new concrete. Those lane closures do begin tonight at 9 o'clock. They'll also be taking place on the weekends, but don't worry. They will not have them out here working on these roads during our peak traffic times in the morning and during the evening commutes. In Salt Lake City, I'm Morgan Wolf for KSL 5 News. All right, Morgan, we're all going to buckle up.